All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakwa, Radash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Salutations to the brothers pushing his truth on the four corners of the earth. I'm going to get right into the title. Famine of the truth is near. And it is quite indeed, all right? You got these devils trying to ban his, um, the, the, Holy, the King James Bible in California, all right? Not just that, uh, YouTube will be shut down soon. None of this is going to be around that long, all right? How we go feed the sheep if we ain't got away, all right? No on the four corners, no on the highways and the byways, all right? These damn devils are going to make sure that happen. Let me get right into a precept. This is Psalm chapter 74, verse 9. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophets, neither there is among us any that knoweth how long. All right? I'm pretty sure for a very damn long time. They're making sure we start for the word. All right. Yahweh Shah spoke of this. So regardless of how long it's, it is on the way. All right. And millions are going to suffer because they didn't hurt from the beginning. Let me get into the precept. All right. This is Micah chapter 3 verse 6. Therefore night shall be unto you, that you shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that you shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over her, over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. All right. The darkness cover over the, um, the prophets, that means we out of there. All right. And that day... When the darkness comes over the prophets, that's the day we're not going to be out on those highways and those byways. Delivering, feeding the sheep, this food. All right? The words of Yahweh Shah. All right? Seek the Lord while he can be found. His truth ain't going to be around that long, right? Let me get into another precept. This is, uh, all right? This is Matthew chapter so lucky. This is Matthew chapter nine, verse thirty six. All right. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and where they scattered aboard as sheep having no shepherd. All right. There's a sheep without the shepherd. What's the highways and the byways without uh, the prophets? Famine of the word. All right. It's going to be pointless out there. And Jake was troubled. You guys are going to suffer if you didn't hurt me. I was shout you had a chance. This truth is, is, is more serious than you know. All right? I'm going to come to a time where this word is going to be needed so bad, you're going to be wishing that you hurt me, that you hurt me to the prophets instead of scoffing us. Instead of thinking that, oh, I got time, they always out there. I don't damn think so. All right? Family of this truth is near. Damn devils. All right. We get into uh, the Amos chapter. This is Amos chapter eight, verse eleven. Behold, the day comes, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing the words of the Lord. All right. <laughs> That's right around the corner. Nor thirst or bread, but of the word. 
All right. That's more essential than anything else. These words. Food, water. All right. You could be willing to get, you're going to be willing to give anything just to hit his word in those days. It's going to be too damn late. All right. You two thirds take this shit for granted. All right. You lost people out there take this for granted. All right. Let me get into another precept. This is Amos 8 and 12. This is Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander, <clears throat> wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run into end. For seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. All right. Y'all going to be out there damn tripping. Jason going to be out there tripping trying to find his word. And he's going to be nowhere near him. He's going to be everywhere. Damn, where are the guys with the signs? All right. Where are, those, where are those damn weirdos that were screaming out of the Bible? All right, some of that shit sounded sincere, but damn, where are they now? Nowhere to be found. All right. You will be wishing, you will be hoping and wishing more than anything just to hear the truth, but it will be nowhere near you. All right, you're going to be everywhere. Scripture say uh, once again, From north even to the east. All right. We'll be scrambling every damn well. Hovering every damn well to hit a prophet. We don't know when to hit his word. Hurricane while you got a damn chance. Repent while you got a damn chance. All right. The truth and the game. All right. Once again, forgive me. I don't have my garment. Spirit jumped on me to do this video. And, uh. I'm going to go to Amos 8 and 13. And that day shall <clears throat> the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. <sighs> All right. You fools will be full of fear out there, man. All right. You gonna be so damn desperate for this damn word and this truth. You gonna be coming up. You gonna come amongst all kind of people. Damn, you know the word. I need it. Damn, I need to know what to do. I'm thirsty for this truth. All right. It's gonna be too damn bad because it'll be too damn late. All right. A lot of people take this truth for granted. All right. We out there on the highways and the byways, our people just walking by us like it ain't nothing. Alright. We're not out there to, uh, to beg you to stop and listen to us. Alright, you shall seek your own damn salvation. You're not doing it. You're gonna, you're gonna be done in that damn day. Alright, I'm a part of a camp, alright? GMS Tampa Bay, and I witnessed that all the damn time. St. Pete Camp um, also. Alright. Welcome by making little small ass remarks. All right. That day of thirst, for the truth, hunger. You niggas gonna be passing out like groupies in that day just for this word, but there ain't gonna be no one near you. All right. I'm gonna be glad to see that too, man. Did the scriptures say, uh, "Lift thy voice and spare not." We are the loud putting out the truth. All right. You out there laughing at us. You ain't gonna be laughing that day when you need it. All right. Niggas will be groupies for profits in that day. All right. You're going to think that uh, the men of the Lord were celebrities. All right. These niggas going to be looking for us like, uh, are you looking forward for a concert? There'll be no tickets to purchase. All right. And I made this video for you guys to uh, repent, come into this truth, hearken into the word, because family of the truth is near. All right. And I want to see my people make it. Repent. Uh, 
don't, don't take the profits for granted. Just like the mind, the truth is a terrible thing to waste. Shalom, Israel.